Man, you guys really came out to chocolate that Nigerian food combo. My go-to comfort food. Now I know the kind of food you all like to eat on this channel. You requested for this Nigerian assorted meat pepper soup in large numbers. Una get my mumu button so I have delivered in record time. Make sure you watch till the end to see how to eat this great combo. These are the ingredients I'll be using. Assorted parts of beef, cow ribs, shaki which is cow tripe, kidney and heart. You can add other parts of beef that you like. Normally, we use scent leaves for Nigerian pepper soup. This one here is mint leaf. Please, do not use mint leaves when cooking Nigerian pepper soup. It looks like scent leaves, but it does not smell like scent leaves. It does not taste like scent leaves either. Mint leaf is not a good alternative to scent leaves. It will ruin the pepper soup for someone who knows exactly what correct Nigerian pepper soup should taste like. If you are outside Nigeria, it is better to use parsley because it does not have a strong taste nor smell. That's what I'll be using today. Then habanero pepper, seasoning cubes, onions, thyme, salt, and ehu. That's calabash nutmeg. Here's what the seed looks like. Ehu is the only pepper soup spice you need for the classic pepper soup taste. Trust me, you don't need any of those so-called pepper soup seasoning at all. <laughs> you need to first of all peel and grind the ehu with a dry meal before adding it to the pepper soup. I'll be using this sweet pepper or fresh paprika. This is a super optional ingredient. This pepper is not spicy at all. I won't be using the whole pepper, just about this quantity. You will see why I use it later. Cut the meat into single bite sizes. You want those eating this to be able to scoop one piece of meat and put it in their mouth without having to cut it with their teeth first or even resort to using their hands. Mbao! Those white parts I am cutting off are fat. The cow tripe has already been cut to the perfect size by the shop that sells them here. If you have any questions about anything I do while preparing this, please don't be shy. Feel free to ask me in the comments. I answer all questions. I start by cooking the toughest parts of meat first. That's the ribs and the shaki. These two have similar cooking times. Add thyme, ehu, and seasoning cubes. Steam it without adding water and stir at the same time till the ribs turn pale and everything is well steamed up. Add chunks of onion. Can you guess why I'm using chunks of onion? I want to know those that have been following this channel for a long time and paying attention to my cooking methods. <laughs> Add water to the same level as the meats and start cooking. As you cook, top up the water when necessary. I always keep the liquid at the same level as the meat.
I cook them for about 40 minutes. Yes, it takes a long time without a pressure pot. Your cooking times may vary, so make sure the meat is almost done before the next step. I removed the now deflated chunks of onion because they've done the job they came here for. Then add the kidney and the heart. Continue cooking till every meat is well cooked but not falling off the bones soft. It should not be chewy and it should not melt in the mouth either. The kidney and the heart cook in 10 to 15 minutes. When done, add the chopped peppers and parsley. Cover and cook for at most one minute. Add salt if necessary. I say if necessary because ehu and seasoning cubes taste salty. It's quite easy for pepper soup to become salty, so watch it. You see that slight reddish tint? That came from the sweet peppers. I only add it to add a slight color to the pepper soup. That nice color you guys fell in love with in the other video. I have done my part by delivering this pepper soup on short notice. Have you done your part? Have you liked this video yet? Have you? Have you? I hope you did not forget again. Chayo! Serve piping hot with the agidi we prepared the other day. Here's my able food taster showing you how to eat this combo. Click the box on the left to see how I made the agidi and the box on the right to see other delicious Nigerian restaurant recipes. Yum yum yum!